On today's show, we have Divine Mercy framed art, a St. George statue, and items celebrating Mother Angelica, here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Happy Easter. I'm Emily LaSusa, and I'm thrilled to be back with you on EWTN Religious Catalog. Christ is risen indeed. And today I'll be sharing some beautiful holy reminders to celebrate this most glorious season in the liturgical year. But we're going to begin today with some items related to our dear Mother Angelica. We remember our beloved foundress, Mother Angelica, on her birthday this week, April 20th. Who would have guessed that God would use Rita Rizzo, a girl who grew up in an impoverished, broken home in Ohio, to become a cloistered nun and found a worldwide television network in Alabama of all places. God truly accomplished miracles through this feisty and faithful soul. You can reflect upon all that God accomplished through Mother Angelica when you pray using the EWTN Warriors Rosary, and it comes with a free Mother Angelica Rosary pouch. The rosary is made of semi-precious blue solid gemstone 8 millimeter sodalite beads. One of the great things about these stunning beads is that no two are alike. The center medal has the EWTN Global Catholic Network logo over the shield and crossed swords on the front, and Our Lady of Mount Carmel and a kneeling warrior being knighted on the back. The two-toned crucifix is in the shape of a two-inch sword. The Our Father medals are shields of Our Lady of the Angels, St. Clare of Assisi, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Isidore of Seville, St. Maximilian Kolbe, and St. Francis de Sales, all saints that have special significance for our mission here at EWTN. The rosary is made in Italy. The rosary comes with an information pamphlet that provides the background of this exclusive EWTN design. The tapestry rosary pouch I mentioned features a picture of Mother Angelica on one side. And there's a beautiful picture of the monstrance that's inside the shrine of the Most Blessed Sacrament on the other side. This zippered pouch is lined with nylon and it measures approximately four inches wide by five and three quarter inches high. And this pouch can also be purchased separately. And you can store your EWTN Warrior's Rosary on the inside. Again, beautiful for remembering Mother Angelica's birthday that we're celebrating this week. Seeing a nun on TV has stopped many people in their tracks while channel surfing through the years. Here at EWTN, we hear countless stories of viewers that paused even just a few moments to listen, and what they heard Mother Angelica say changed their lives. This beautiful framed portrait will remind you not only of the great things Mother Angelica accomplished through the Holy Spirit, but what you too can achieve when you have radical trust in God. This eight by 10 portrait of Mother is displayed under glass in a natural tiger cherry finish frame with carved gold edges. The frame measures 10 and three quarters of an inch wide by 12 and three quarters of an inch high by one inch deep. It has a hook for hanging and a black velvet easel back for tabletop display. And to help us remember Mother, and more importantly, to pray for the blessed repose of her soul, here is a Mother Angelica magnet. It features the same portrait of Mother Angelica surrounded by a pale blue border that reads forever in our hearts at the top and includes the year of her birth and death. The strong magnet measures three and a half inches in diameter. You can enjoy a cup of Mother Angelica's specialty tea the next time you sit down to read a book or watch one of the many excellent programs on EWTN. Mother was a lifelong tea drinker. She even used to share a tea bag with her mother when things were tough growing up. This was Mother Angelica's very own special blend of breakfast tea. It comes in a decorative gift box that holds 20 individually wrapped tea bags. 
What a lovely gift. And you could pair the tea with a mug, like our Mother Angelica super-sized mug. It features Mother Angelica's portrait and the prayer that she composed for the network at its launch on August the 15th, 1981. This generous 20 ounce black ceramic mug comes with a large C-shaped handle, allowing for a secure and comfortable grip. It's ideal for the serious coffee or tea drinker, and it's perfect for soup or cereal as well. The mug measures four and a quarter inches high by four inches in diameter, and it's microwave and dishwasher safe. The mug is printed in the USA. We have a host of great mugs on EWTNRC.com. Find a new one for yourself or one to give as a gift. Now that we've arrived in the Easter season and we're celebrating the foundation of our faith, the risen Lord, we wanted to bring you some reminders of that miraculous moment when Christ conquered sin and death. This resurrection rosary keepsake box makes a fitting gift for the Easter season. It's just large enough to tuck a few Easter treats on the inside. It's also a fine size to stand upright for display like you see it here. The box is handmade of natural wood with a hinged lid that opens like a book. It features a beautiful decoupage foil icon of the resurrection with gold and silver accents. The box measures four and one eighth of an inch by five inches and is one and a quarter inches deep. This miniature desktop triptych features the Stations of the Cross. The center panel features a beautiful gold embossed print of Christ's resurrection. Smaller images of the 14 Stations of the Cross appear on the side panels with their corresponding Roman numerals. The triptych is made of wood with two brass hinges and gold foil accents. The entire piece measures four and seven eighths of an inch wide by three and a half inches high by three eighths of an inch deep. It was imported from Italy. We have a special set of items for you next that would make a wonderful study during this Easter season. It's the fourth cup book and DVD set unveiling the mystery of the Last Supper and the cross. You'll save 40% when you purchase Scott Hahn's The Fourth Cup book and the DVD together. Dr. Scott Hahn explains Christ's Paschal sacrifice on the cross as the fulfillment of the traditional fourth cup used in the celebration of Passover, drawing symbolic parallels to the Last Supper and Christ's death on Calvary. The hardcover book is 192 pages long. And EWTN's groundbreaking original series, The Fourth Cup on DVD, reveals the keys to understanding Christ's life, death, and resurrection. Scott Hahn and Mike Aquilina further unpack this great work over four discs and six and a half hours of content. Here's a clip. The message of the New Testament is sort of theologically incoherent apart from the old. Hmm. What promises are being fulfilled? What covenant is being renewed? And so I recognize that if the Passover happens to be the context in which Jesus is crucified and the setting against which you've got to understand the meaning of Jesus' words, it is finished, then I'm going to have to go back into the Old Testament and understand the Passover because it was more than just like, you know, another holy day. Yes. It was the holiday of holidays. It was the holiest day of all in many respects for Jews. Scott Hahn is a fantastic teacher and this set is sure to help you grow in your love and understanding of the Mass. Both the book and the DVD are also sold separately. We have so many books and DVDs with this great Catholic theologian and apologist so be sure to go on EWTNRC.com and learn more about this great faith. Another author who's wonderful at explaining the faith and particularly at making Aquinas more accessible to laymen is Kevin Vost. Check out this book, Aquinas on the Four Last Things, everything you need to know about death, judgment, heaven, and hell. Death, judgment, heaven, and hell, often called the four last things, are both awe-inspiring and fear-inducing. 
Yet countless saints testify to the profound spiritual benefit of contemplating these awesome mysteries. With St. Thomas as his guide, Dr. Vost explores the destination of our souls after death and uncovers the mystery surrounding limbo and purgatory. In this book, you'll find rapid fire summaries of what we believe in simple, accessible language that answer a wide range of questions you might have about the afterlife. It's a great book to read and then share with a friend. And here's something great for those Easter baskets. It's the Easter A to Z activity book. Learning about Lent and Easter traditions is as easy as ABC. This Aquinas Kids Growing in Faith activity book will help children learn about and celebrate the season of Easter through coloring pages, mazes, dot to dots, and more. There's so much anticipation, I think, naturally built into Christmas for our kids, but it's so important for them to realize that Easter is the ultimate celebration of our faith. This little book is a great way for kids ages five to nine to journey through the season of Lent and arrive at and enjoy a meaningful Easter. This book is also available in a set of five activity books filled with fun for your children. Other growing in faith activity books include Jesus, the Mass, the Rosary, and the Saints. Each 32-page book contains pictures to color, puzzles, mazes, dot to dots, and even more. The titles also can be purchased separately. April 25th is Divine Mercy Sunday. Divine Mercy was one of Mother Angelica's favorite devotions, and she wanted to do her part to share the message of mercy with the world. Beginning very early in the network's history, EWTN began broadcasting the Divine Mercy Chaplet regularly and annual events at the National Shrine of Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Mother and her live show guests would often unpack the messages our Lord gave to St. Faustina Kowalska and what they mean for all of us. I want to share some gorgeous images of Divine Mercy with you. The first is the Divine Mercy Vilnius original artwork. This is a reproduction of the original painting of the Divine Mercy by Eugene Kazmirovsky, overseen by St. Faustina and Blessed Father Michael Sopako. The original image is hanging in the cathedral in Vilnius, Lithuania. I'm sure it was such a struggle for St. Faustina to describe and for the painter to capture this vision of our Lord which she experienced. I think the tenderness of our Lord just radiates from this particular depiction in a unique way. This fine art print is framed under premium clear glass in an ornate dark wood frame with gold detail. It measures 15 and a half inches wide by 27 and a half inches high, and it comes ready to hang. We also have this Vilnius image in a smaller size, 11 and a half inches wide by 19 and a half inches high and both sizes are made in the USA. And here's another favorite Divine Mercy image. We see Jesus here with his sacred heart exposed and the rays of red and pale light coming from them. These rays pour out upon us his love and mercy as blood and water poured out from his side on Good Friday. The words we all need to remember and reflect upon are printed right at the bottom, Jesus, I trust in thee. The image is framed in an ornate solid wood gold frame. It measures 10 inches wide by 14 inches tall. And we also have a larger version of this image available. And that measures 14 and a quarter inches wide by 20 and a quarter inches high. This Italian Divine Mercy wall plaque I'll show you next, features an elevated oval of the Divine Mercy image and the words, Jesus, I trust in you, along the bottom. The plaque that the image is mounted on has a dark brown wood finish embossed with decorative gold scroll work at the corners. It measures five and a quarter inches high by three and three quarters of an inch wide. It has a keyhole on the back for hanging. 
If you aren't in the habit of praying the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, I encourage you to begin. It can be such a source of consolation in times of trouble, worry, and suffering. This Divine Mercy Chaplet is made with 10 deep red glass beads. On each of these beads you pray, for the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. It's the prayer of a sinner before the Lord, and it can change your life. There are three more beads, and on those you pray the Our Father, Hail Mary, and Apostles' Creed as you begin the chaplet. A medal with the image of Jesus, the Divine Mercy on one side, and the words, Jesus, I trust in you on the back, also hangs from the chaplet. It comes packaged with a nice card with prayer instructions on it in both English and Spanish. I think Divine Mercy is a wonderful prayer to share with those who aren't Catholic. Maybe you and your friends often find yourselves discouraged about the state of our world right now. Well, I encourage you to place those cares into the hands of our crucified Lord while you pray this chaplet. EWTN features many beautiful Catholic devotions and a favorite for many years has been the Chaplet of Divine Mercy in song. You can own this powerful program on DVD and pray the Chaplet of Divine Mercy along with the program whenever it's convenient for you. Filmed live at the National Shrine of the Divine Mercy in Stockbridge, Massachusetts, this is a contemporary version of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy. Two women and one man sing a gospel-style rendition of the beloved chaplet and also sing, I am a voice crying for mercy. You may find yourself lifting your own voice in praise throughout the day with this moving rendition. Here's a clip. We also have the Chaplet of Divine Mercy in song on audio CD. Pray on the go or in your home while you go about your daily tasks. Both the DVD and CD are 30 minutes long. I think this is a lovely and needed book, Divine Mercy for Moms, sharing the lessons of St. Faustina. In this, their first book, Catholic bloggers and speakers, Michelle Fanley and Emily Jaminette draw upon their own experiences to introduce you to St. Faustina and her five essential elements of the Divine Mercy message. The image, the feast, the chaplet, the hour of mercy, and spreading the devotion. With heartwarming stories and practical advice, they reveal that mercy is not just a gift to be received in the confessional, but a spiritual resource that strengthens those who extend themselves in word, deed, and prayer. Motherhood is a vocation of service. When a mother's daily actions are filtered through the lens of divine mercy, their hearts grow softer and more compassionate until they're more like Christ. Michelle and Emily have both had deep spiritual awakenings as they began to live out the devotion to the divine mercy. Divine Mercy for Moms traces the steps of their journeys so you can experience the merciful heart of Jesus just as they have. What a great book to give to a mom this Mother's Day. I want to show you some other wonderful ideas for encouraging the mothers in your life. Starting off, this greeting card celebrates both spiritual and natural motherhood, and both are absolutely vital for our church and our world. What a breathtaking image here of our Blessed Mother holding the Christ child and receiving so many lovely bouquets. This sturdy cardstock landscape greeting card measures five by seven inches. The text is printed on the top half of the card and is a beautiful prayer for motherhood. Listen to part of it. Through the intercession of Holy Mary, Mother of God, may all women receive into their hearts 
the divine call to motherhood, both natural and spiritual, and find their joy and identity in this calling. May the prayers of the Blessed Mother be a beacon of light to all women, leading them on the path to discover true beauty, serve with humility, give of their own hearts and bodies, confound the darkness, and blind the evil ones with the light of feminine grace. Perfect to send to encourage a woman in her vocation, either spiritual or natural motherhood. I have some other greeting card options to show you too. Send this one with love to a wonderful mother. Those words are printed right here on the front of the card beneath this gorgeous Madonna. On the inside left of this card is a quote from Joseph Cardinal Mainzenti that reads, she cannot claim the honor of having built Notre Dame Cathedral. She need not. She has built something more magnificent than any cathedral, a dwelling for an immortal soul, the tiny perfection of her baby's body. The angels have not been blessed with such a grace. They cannot share in God's creative miracle to bring new saints to heaven. Only a human mother can. Mothers are closer to God, the creator, than any other creature. God joins forces with mothers in performing this act of creation. What on God's good earth is more glorious than this, to be a mother? This greeting card measures five by seven inches, and it's also made from sturdy cardstock. What I like about all of these cards is that they're blank on the opposite side of the printed text, so they can be customized for any woman, your own mom, godmother, grandmother, your wife, a nun or sister, or a friend. Each card also comes with a plain white envelope, and they're made in the USA. And here's one more design for you. This mother's greeting card features a quote from St. Therese that reads, the loveliest masterpiece of the heart of God is the heart of a mother. What an encouragement for a mother's heart and her soul. The quote is printed in a variety of elegant fonts and it's surrounded by a floral border. With its five by seven landscape size and sturdy cardstock, it would be an excellent print for framing or displaying. This card is completely blank on the inside and it comes with a plain white envelope. You'll find these cards and more by searching Mother's Day cards on EWTNRC.com. And last today, we wanted to show you a striking statue of St. George in honor of his feast day, which is April the 23rd. St. George was a Roman soldier who converted to Christianity, and there are many legends surrounding him. He's the patron saint of England, and he's most often pictured fighting a dragon, most likely representing the devil. We see St. George here engaged in combat with a fierce dragon. What a powerful image of spiritual warfare. This statue is made of cold cast bronze with lightly hand painted accents and measures 10 and a quarter inches tall. I think it's the perfect statue to display. If you're a lover of great fantasy literature like I am, I'm thinking the works of Tolkien and Lewis perhaps. Both writers wove dragons into their tales to teach us lessons about greed, selfishness, and sinful pride. We've come to the end now of our show today. So here's a recap of all the items we showed you and the information on how to order them. Today we showed you the EWTN Warrior's Rosary with free Mother Angelica Rosary Pouch. Item number 581 3K for $99.95. The Mother Angelica framed portrait, item number 99138 for $30. The Mother Angelica magnet, item number 32961 for $5. Mother Angelica's specialty tea is item number TBOX for $7.50. The Mother Angelica supersized mug in black is item number M8163 
seven, six for $12. The Resurrection Rosary Keepsake Box is item number BX617 for $14. The Stations of the Cross Triptych is item number 92148 for $17.95. The Fourth Cup Book and DVD Set is item number 8790K for $28.80. The book Aquinas on the Four Last Things is item number 32999 for $17.95. The Easter A to Z Children's Activity Book is item number B3003 for $2. The set of activity books is item number 3003X for $10. The Divine Mercy Vilnius Original Large Artwork is item number 32F4 for $158. The Divine Mercy framed artwork in the smaller 10 by 14 inch size is item number 194B1 for $49. The Italian Divine Mercy wall plaque is item number E7536 for $15. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy is item number 86C for $8. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy in Song on DVD is item number 2823D for $15.95. And the Audio C version of the Chaplet of Divine Mercy in Song is item number 2823C for $15. The book Divine Mercy for Moms is item number 6652 for $15.95. The Celebrating Spiritual and Natural Motherhood greeting card is item number MD110S for $2.95. The greeting card with love to a wonderful mother is item number MD4190 for $2.95. And the loveliest masterpiece St. Therese quote greeting card is item number MH1S for $2.95. And finally, the St. George cold cast bronze statue is item number 73533 for $165. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. Our website is safe and secure. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. Or you can give us a call at 1-800-854-6316. Call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. Let's pray often the words, Jesus, I trust in you. As I was in the hospital preparing to have my third baby just a few months ago, this was the only thing I could say or even think of. In every situation of life, great and small, God is by our side. We have only to place ourselves in His hands. I'll see you next week.